So I'm in Vietnam at the moment and I'm enjoying myself here. I like the country very much. Uh, people are very friendly and all. But one thing that's a little bit annoying is they only give you a one month uh, visa, a uh, tourist visa. So after, if you want to stay longer, you have to do a border run. And uh, in Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, um, one of the more popular ones is to just uh, get a bus and go to Cambodia. Uh, and the nearest place is Mok Bai. So the Mok Bai border run. Um, I use Thai Duong transport tourist company who got me there and back and gave me all the information uh, for a roughly 800,000 uh, uh, Vietnamese dong which is about 35 euros um, now the reason I use them and not the cheaper version of just getting the even public transport is uh, that would take three hours this one an hour and a bit so I arrived at, 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 arrived at the border at around 11 after departing Ho Chi Minh City around 9, uh, so uh, 9 thereabouts, or past 9. Journey, journey wasn't pleasant though, as there was so much traffic. Uh, I was told to expect to pay a fee to exit the country, which was kind of a lot of rubbish. But no, uh, we got our exit stamp with little butter, even though the border guards were pretty gruff looking. Hey man, Hi. have you done this before? Have you? Yes. Oh, hi, how you? Let's do it again. <laughs> Next time we'll be here. Does it take long? Does it? How are you doing? Uh, it depends if everything is okay. Oh, Jesus. Me or him? Ireland, Ireland. We don't have to pay many bribes, do we? <laughs> no. Uh, if everything okay, you pay 30 bucks. 30 or 45 bucks. Maybe yeah. And then on the way back, there is a guy who will ask 200, but you can give, but actually, you don't have to give him at all. Okay. So you can give him 100, so he will do it faster. Okay. Have you, you have you got your Cambodian visa already, or? No. Already okay. No. But you you have your Vietnamese visa to come yes. back, yeah. So it's for, uh, pretty much the same then. We don't have to pay any money to exit, do we? For exit? Yeah. Sometimes yes, sometimes, sometimes no. <laughs> no, no. Only 30 bucks there and... Uh, yeah, because the guy at this place said we had to give him a bit of money to exit. I didn't no, know about that. <laughs> Last time I came one day late. My visa was until 25th, I came on 26th. Oh, okay. So I put 200 in my passport. Okay, yeah. And everything was okay. So they just changed dates. like that then. <laughs> Okay. Looking for a no man's land now. We're a, we're a no man's land now, are we? He didn't ask for Anne. <laughs> he was just so grumpy. I think he just wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? No, I didn't take out my camera. I didn't take. I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> if you were a place where you give bribes, it's not it's kind of dirty, so I don't want to do that. Yeah. That's what I'm doing, I'm just doing a short one. <laughs> you when you go for the first time, you don't know. My agent said, oh, there will, there will be no more. Then walk to the Cambodia visa office to get the visa on arrival. But arriving early, the queues into Cambodia were not very heavy at all. As I had no dollars, um, I paid a little extra to get my Vietnamese dong, which was roughly about. 40 euros, uh, I think if you have dollars, so it's about Cambodia. 35 dollars. 
After that, you can enter the country, you can enter Cambodia quick enough. And on the Cambodian side, the border guards seem more friendly. Uh, I don't know why. Um, that's just the way it was. Um, a quick turnaround. Um, and then you're exiting Cambodia, back again into Vietnam. So you come out of the immigration and come on out. It's best to just go left. There's a small path here, look. Really hilarious. Hello. Okay, hiya. And that's it, you just go around the corner and here we are again. And now we're, I'm going, I'm in Cambodia and now I'm going to back to Vietnam. Okay, okay. Yeah. No one comes in here for visa and Import everyone for a three month visa yeah. or six month visa. And the working visa is not more convenient. Yeah. I guess they all make a bit of money here and there with little bribes and uh, this time there was a queue to get back to uh, Vietnam. Uh, it took about half an hour for it to move and eventually got back into Nam. And this no special entry fee either. Another point where you could be paying a special entry fee. I don't know why. Perhaps because there were so many people, it probably would have looked a bit strange if the border guards were asking people to take money out of their pockets. Perhaps if there was less people, maybe. So the special exit fee would have been 200, 150, even 50. The special entry fee, 200, 150 dong. So along the process, uh, en exit and entering, a few security people will look at your passport, etc. You know, I don't know. It's it's jobs for the boys kind of thing. Someone sitting down, and uh, asked to see your passport. No stamp around. I think it's just part of the process. Okay, so that's the visa run done. Back around, in around that way, back out. And very few bribes today. <laughs> I got two help. These two guys were a great help. I would I would have found it very difficult without the, these two guys. But uh, now we're finished. So now we're going to go back, get the bus back to Ho Chi Minh. It's brilliant. It was stressful because they were asking for fucking wax certs and everything. So I didn't have any of that. But uh, I think if you just do a ballsy and just say I don't have one, there's nothing they can do really. Uh, Anyway, I definitely need a fucking beer after that. I hate this kind of shit. I hate dealing with immigration. But overall, I did the whole turnaround very quickly, about an hour. Uh, I was with two lads that did it before and they were very helpful. I don't know, I think if I was on my own, it might have took a, long, a bit longer because I wouldn't have known which buildings to enter. And overall, I was happy because there wasn't as many fees to be paid as expected. Just the, the only thing I paid for was the Cambodian visa, uh, which was expected. So all in all, the whole process took about an hour. Back in the bus, heading back to Ho Chi Minh City, right back at around half past two. Uh, it wasn't a very comfortable drive back. The driver thought he was a rally driver or something, in and out, in and out, in and out of the traffic all the time. But he brought us home fast, even though it was very dangerous driving. But that was okay. Another thing, I, I had no COVID passes or any vax nonsense. Uh, many people did, majority of people did, and they were handing over their vax passes or whatever, COVID passes. I was a little worried they'd ask for one, despite both countries completely open at the moment. But nothing was given and nothing was asked, which was kind of okay. But I mean, the border run, it's stressful, like any of these things, but it has to be done, and it was done smooth enough smooth enough but uh yeah that was it